What is good family today? Today, what are we talking about today? Today we were talking about the stock market. Why are we talking about the stock market? Because it's been down. It has been down significantly. It's been down like four to 5%. The s and is down 4%. The Nasdaq's at like 6% down. It's time to panic. No. Is it time for us to freak out? Freak out around the neighborhood and run around the neighborhood screaming and crying. I know some of you beginner investors might be feeling that way, but the honest truth is don't panic. Don't be afraid. These dips happen all the time. So with the Fed and everything going on with potential rate hikes, we are seeing a big dip. We're seeing a dip from, again, 4%. Um, and that, that is hit. That has hit small caps. That's hit mid caps, large caps, and hit the overall indexes. But that is okay, because you know what we're going to do? We're going to stay the course, and we aren't going to panic. Let's talk about what happens when you panic. You panic, you panic sell, and you lose money. Okay, but if you don't panic and you stay the course, you will see the benefits of compounding over time. Take a look at the S&P. If you were to sell at any of those low points in 2020, you would have missed that big ride up in 2021, 2022. Okay, the point is if you're a passive long-term investor, you should be looking at this as a buying opportunity. I always say buy when it's red and sell when it's green. But at the end of the day, we do want to look at this as a buying opportunity. The market's been down 4%. That's 4% off. That's a 4% deal. And really you focus on those long-term strategies. Because you're focused long-term, you won't really care about these little small dips, these ebbs and flows. But if you're panicking and saying, hey, like I need that profit, I need that money now, you shouldn't be investing that money. This is long-term money that you should be utilizing and saving with and growing and building that compound over time. So when you're 60, you sell a piece and you got millions, you got millions. But this is just a small little PSA I wanted to share. Just wanted to make sure no one's panicking with the market. You're staying the course, you're staying true. And if you guys are investing, tell me in the comments below, what ETFs are you investing in? I need to know. I want to expand my portfolio with your advice. And also like, subscribe. If you can do that, huge help. All the best. Peace.